Who does that? It's a Super Bowl. Watch the halftime show. All right, here we go. Third quarter action now. Fielded about a yard deep. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. No gain on the play there. Second down. No gain on that run. And while the team is down, there's still time to come back and win the football game. If I'm the offensive coordinator, though, I've got to think about moving at a faster pace and maybe opening things up a little bit and throwing it a little bit more. On second down, here's Brady. And he finds a man with a crossing route. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. No, I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice play. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Grady Jerry in there to drop him for a loss of 10. And it'll be fourth and long. There's a little bit of defense right there. Nickel set, five defensive backs. They just snuffed out every route that was going. Quarterback never got rid of the football. Here's Ryan Allen now as he's on to kick it away. Averaging over 50 yards of punch so far as this one's away. And taken right at the 35. A terrific return there. 27 yards all told. And this offense, they're going to have excellent field position. They take over with a first and 10 on the short side of the field. Really nice starting field position here for the offensive unit. They'll try to get the ground game going with Freeman. Devontae Freeman, they're not going to get him. <laughs> Touchdown, Falcons. Devontae Freeman with a record fourth Super Bowl touchdown tonight. And the Falcons will add on to their lead. And that rushing touchdown, his fourth, puts him just one shy of the NFL record in a single game. And we all know he would love to get to that record and even beyond it, but he doesn't need to in order to impress in this one, does he? What a, what a performance. What an absolute great game that he's had here in this one. Here's Bosher to kick it away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. down is Brady. Open man left side is Gronkowski. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It'll be a Patriot first down on a pickup of 16. Ah, yes, Brady to Gronk. You think these two are in sync? Without a doubt. And look, they both understand what they can do for each other. Gronk knows if he gets open, the ball's going to be there. And Tom Brady knows what a great security blanket Gronk is. When all else fails, you find big 87. The Patriot passing game is rolling. They've got another first down. The former seventh-round pick, Julian Edelman, just continues to have such a productive career. And has made himself into a receiver. Remember, he was a college quarterback, and not just a productive one, a very good one. At Kent State, right? Yes, a great leader, a guy who could make plays with his feet and his arm. Got to the NFL and had to convert him to being a receiver. Was drafted that way. And that conversion, <laughs> oh boy, it's been good. And he'll be stopped up quickly here 
at the 38. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. You know that old expression, it's not my night? It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. And the Falcons get there. The Falcons get the sack. Down he goes. Deion Jones coming hard on the blitz. He dumps him for a loss of eight. But that play was the very definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, he was there. Yep. Blink of an eye, that happened fast and a big sack. Play action, now it's Brady. And it's going to be incomplete. He was able to catch it there on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. And it's going to bring up fourth down. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you got to hit. He's wide open right there got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. <laughs> Averaging 50 yards of boot so far as this one's away. This is taken around the 12. <laughs> he juked him. A good return there. Call it 13 yards. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. Throwing now. Ryan on first down. Looking deep downfield. And that's caught inside the 35. Touchdown, Falcons. Julio Jones, 75 yards. And the Falcons add on. Well, you know he can be explosive, and he's ultra explosive there on the fly route. And you know how many times we've talked to coaches and we've had quoted back to us, well, you know something? When you execute really well, it doesn't matter if they know it's coming or not. But sometimes athleticism beats you as well. He just took off and went. And that's almost like one of your turkey bowl games, isn't it? <laughs> just go long, Backyard. man. I'll hit you. And it worked really well for them. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. One of the shortest drives you'll ever see. One play, 75 yards, six points. Here's Bosher to kick it away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. Seen but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Kind of running there at your own risk against that 4-3 in that big line, aren't you? Yeah, and I don't really run it against a good 4-3 team that well because I've got to get those guys on the move a little bit. If you're a static running team, meaning you just want to run it in the middle, you may have some trouble against good defensive tackles. That's what we just saw on that play. No gain. They try again with Lewis. <laughs> And they're able to get this one across the 35. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Patriot first down. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. Here's Brady to throw. He's just going to dump this one off to his fullback out of the backfield. It'll be a two-yard gain, and it'll bring up a second down. 
and the big guy catches the ball out of the backfield and oftentimes it's quite a surprise to the guys playing defense because not ordinarily thought as a pass catcher, it often works when they decide to dial it up. here on a Sunday night. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Looking to throw on second down. Brady, and he's got it. Got his man on the end round. Complete. And a big collision there as he winds up flat on his back right at the 45. Hard to believe his first catch of the game defensively. They bottled him up. That's why they're well on their way to victory. Put your best cover guy on him and then change the coverages behind him throughout the game. Brackets, double, zone, man, you name it. Make sure he gets a lot of angles. Now Brady. And incomplete here on third down. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden a secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. Taken in at the 22. Just a 30-yard punt that time. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. down with Ryan. And a scary incompletion. Almost picked off. It would have been their first INT of the game. Instead, second down. Pretty nice coverage there, but a missed opportunity for an interception. Let's face it, a lot of these defenders, they've got it all. Speed, athleticism, hands, a little bit questionable. Unable to connect on the first down pass play. Now it's second down. The play fake to Freeman. It's Ryan. He's going to air one out. And that's caught inside the 30. A big play there. Ryan to Jones. And even 40 yards. When you have someone throwing it that well, that confidently, you don't have to call the game in fear at all, do you? You just go ahead and play. Yep, confidence with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. Yeah, you don't have to tuck your head in and take him to look like turtle at this point. You can just go ahead and play. So here we go, first and 10 now. And now a 10th carry for Freeman. And they've got it in the red zone now, down at about the 19. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads. Bowled over a few people. Look at that one. Right up the gut. So up through three. And he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. Devontae Freeman scampering home from 19 yards out. And the Falcons continue to pour it on. So another score there. Often you talk about the three phases of the game. Defense, offense, special teams. It's been a clean sweep in this one, hasn't it? It certainly has. They've been pretty dominant throughout this game. And privately, the head coach will add a fourth phase. That's the coaching. And he'll tell the ownership that <laughs> as he tries to negotiate a new contract <laughs> off of this win. So they are looking strong here in the fourth quarter. Just a four-play drive that time. And it ends in a touchdown run from Devontae Freeman.
Here's Bosher to kick it away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he will be marked down right there at the 20-yard line.
Dwight, the man he was looking for out of the backfield. That'll bring up second down. Well, they're slinging it. And then there's one you got to put a timer on, huh? I mean, that one came in hot. That yeah, came in hot, but overthrown out of his reach and incomplete. Looking back to the air on second down. It's Brady over the middle into traffic, and that's complete. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. New England on third down. They've converted three times and eight chances. This will be third and six. Throwing is Brady on third down. Going right side here, and that's complete. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. 17 yards there for the Patriots as they've got themselves a first down. Boy, the evolution of the game and how these guys on plays like that can get out of the pocket, keep plays alive, it just makes things so much harder for defenses. It really does, and we're talking about an era in the game where the quarterbacks are the most athletically gifted that we've seen in a bunch. I mean, when you talk about collectively, it's unbelievable. So their ability to move is practice now. It's not necessarily, oh, he just took off. And, and no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Grady Jarrett in there to get him for his second sack of the night. And plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous play, but gave about half the yardage back on the sack. Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. To throw on second down. Brady over the middle, and it's incomplete. Julian Edelman, the intended receiver, and that'll make it third down. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open, and this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. New England on third down. Not quite 50%, four for nine. This will be third and 19. Working from the gun, it's Brady. On the slant, he gets it to Gronkowski. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Here's Ryan Allen now, as he'll come on to kick for a sixth time tonight. one hits at the one continues on into the end zone for a touchback looking to jam the receivers at the line here press coverage look defensively the drive will start with a carry by Devontae Freeman two yards on the pick up there it'll be second and eight Partner, you know I love to point out when teams break tendency and do something a little bit different from the norm. But when you run the ball in the first play of the drive, that's not a tendency breaker at all. That's just trying to establish yourself as you move forward. See if they stay on the ground for second down. Ryan's going to throw it. And he'll go out of bounds across the 35-yard line. That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right, whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case the feet, did a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. They'll run it now out of the gun. A good cover defensively as they get to him just be on the 45 after the juke. 
And before the second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Offense in a good spot here, second and two. incomplete he just dropped it but they're up big on the scoreboard so maybe he can chuckle about later and he still doesn't have a catch we're into the second half I think it's a little bit of a surprise to me but that was one he should have caught absolutely that was his best opportunity right there he dropped it the Falcons on third down a perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going this time they face a third and two now it's Ryan. Throwing it in traffic there. It's complete. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. to throw it. And this one complete to Levine Torlolo. And he's brought down. It's a pickup of 16 there and it'll lead to a new set of downs. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence. And he's achieved that in this performance. Now, before the second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout. It'll be their third and final timeout, so as they talk things over, we'll step aside. So the offensive unit called the T.O., and now we are ready to resume play. Second down following the run. Here's Ryan. He's got his man on the crossing route. Ryan to Toy Lolo for the Falcon first. I'd have to say they're feeling like they are in rhythm right now. Things are in sync, aren't they? Team's winning, got a nice little margin on the scoreboard. Completing some passes, and they just completed another one for a first down there to the tight end. They go play action here on first down. And he finds a man on the crossing route. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. And the storyline of this one, Charles, no doubt the number zero. Zilch, nada. A shutout so hard to do in the NFL. It really is, and what an accomplishment because you feel that not just on the defensive side, but as a full team, there's a lot of pride that goes into shutting out an opponent. And how about